Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk a little bit more about leader lines, but show a little bit more functionality that they have, uh, which might be required of you uh, during the exam. So I'm gonna go ahead and select and delete both of those. And let's go ahead and add in a new leader line. So just click that leader line button. And it's okay if it's not formatted like mine is. Um, whoops, that was weird. Um, just uh, as long as you have it, find a point, click, and then kind of like drag away. So I'm gonna drag away. It's gonna ask me for some text and I'll just type in the letter B for now. And then to get out of it, you can just click once and then it's gone. Okay, uh, there might come points in the exam where you'll have to essentially branch off of a leader line. So you are able to create multiple leader lines off the same node. Uh, all you need to do is first select the leader line and then right click and go over to the option that says add leader. Uh, the second you click on that, you're going to be given a secondary leader line so that if you had to point or reference to a different object, you can now measure between the two. So let's say I was asked to measure somewhere up here. I can click there and then I will go ahead and press the escape key. And now that I have a distance between these two points, I can just use that measure tool, distance, and then I can click on one, and then I can move up and then click on the other to get my distance, okay? So just be aware of that in case you have to create multiple leader lines off the same branch. Uh, it's really quick to do so, and then you can collect the data afterwards. Now, the other cool thing about this is that you're able to customize it even further than before. So if you remember last time we had to open up some M-style options for the leader lines, uh, if you want to enter the properties of a specific leader line that you've already created, so for example this one, uh, all you need to do is click on it once and then right click and go over to the properties option. Uh, when you do that, it's going to open up everything about it, like the color, the layers it's on, uh, the arrowhead size, the type, uh, the landing distance, everything you need to know about these leader lines, you'll be able to see over here. And then if you wanted to change something like, for example, the landing distance, uh, we could change it from uh, 0.36 to 0.6. And when you press enter, you'll notice that the landing distance has now changed. So you're not a only able to see this leader line and its full complexity, but you're able to edit it and it should only impact the leader line that you're on and not all the leader lines of your project. Okay. Hopefully you uh, found that video useful and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.